if I got one piece of homework for you right now, it's to get back in the fucking boat. September 15th. In 2008, that was the day I got into this business, a day that I decided that this was going to be my career, which then turned into my life, and it's weighing on me a lot. I chose success first when I first came to this city, when everybody said that I couldn't do it, when everyone said that I was a joke, when everyone said that you should have a chip on your shoulder, and I left it, it's right here. That's why I wear these fucking suit jackets, so I can always go here and grab this chip to know that it's there, and this is why I fight. My life is a river, everyone's life. You're on the river of success. And if you don't think success is down the river for you, it's because it's behind the bend. You just can't see it yet. Everyone is on their own river and you're on your own boat and you just have to paddle. Like that's what makes life so exciting. That's what makes this time so exciting. This isn't 2020, motherfucker. This is 2030 we're living for. This is 2040, this is 2050, before we know it. And you're not gonna get there if you don't keep paddling. So get back in the boat. That's what I've been thinking about all day today as I stand here on my roof deck in Tribeca looking at this view and this sick moon actually on top of these buildings that are worth hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. And I think about the end game. If things are tough for you right now, if things are tough where you are, because there is just so much going on, you stay in the boat and you keep paddling, right? That's the rule. If you ever go on whitewater rafting, that's the rule. You get hit with a wave, what do you do? You spit out the water, you keep paddling. You hit a rock, what do you do? You regain your balance, you keep paddling. You go down a bend, you can't see the other end, what do you do? Do you slow down? No, because a wave or a rock or a tree is going to tip you over and then you're either going to drown and die or you're going to swim to the edge of the riverbank and get out and you're going to be another person who abandoned ship. You get back in the fucking boat and you keep paddling. And maybe your success, your win at the end of that river, maybe it's not tomorrow. Maybe it's not five years from now, but it is down there. It's there for all of us. It is there for fucking everybody if you keep paddling. And then once you get there, you're gonna taste it. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna take off that life vest because you don't need any anymore. And you're gonna still keep paddling. And then guess what happens? The river opens up into an ocean. And then all of a sudden, that river that you've been on, that's been so tough this entire time, leading up to right now, where you've had to keep paddling, isn't as scary as anymore, because guess what's even scarier? The fucking ocean is scarier. And then guess what you do when you get into that ocean? That's when you burn your boats. That's when you learn how to swim. And what do pro swimmers do who swim in the ocean? They swim into the waves, right? They dive under the waves. They don't go over it, they don't let the waves slap themselves in the face, they go into the waves and they cut through the water. You cut through the noise. And that's what I do every single day. Everything that's going on all the time, politics, the world, COVID, fuck this, fuck that, all these things, all this pressure, the bills, the problems, the drama, the issues, you swim through the water. You do not let the waves hit you in the face when you're young and you're still in your raft going down your river or you're in the ocean like me and like everybody else who's an adult in this world wondering, is that wave going to hit me? Is it going to be the last fucking wave that takes my face out or am I going to swim through it and am I going to cut through that noise? And then you're going to look for a bigger boat and you're going to jump in a bigger boat. And once you get into that bigger boat, you're going to keep paddling. We are almost at 1 million subscribers. So I want you all to leave comments below for what you think we should do for the vlog commemorating 1 million subs. It's really important to us. So best comment below, I'm gonna pick and I'm going to fly that person to New York to come and see what we've been working on this whole time. So best comment, what should we do in that vlog? What do you wanna see? And we will make it happen because we're coming up on 1 million. And if you're watching this right now and you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the like button. Get this to 20,000 likes. Stay in your raft and keep paddling. End of vlog.